right, hey guys, Kifasty3 here. Um, just gonna do a little bit of a video here in regards to Sony. Um, the news has brought out that for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation VR, they're removing PayPal and credit card information, so you are no longer able to purchase content on those stores via those payment methods. So the only way now, basically, is to use PSN credit, or there is another workaround because I have had this issue before. So the last time I used the PS3 store, never bought anything off the Vita store. On the PS3 store, um, there is a workaround in order to purchase stuff. Because when I last bought something off of there, and I tried using PayPal, or my credit card info, they would not take it for some strange reason. So I came across a workaround. So if you're on PS4, this probably be the same for PS5, if you're on mobile or PC, you can go to settings, go to account management, account information, and then it should say wallet and then add funds. So on either of those, PS4, PS5, PC, mobile, just do those, and then you can add funds to the wallet. You know, whether it's like $5, $10, doesn't even matter. You can add them as, as much as you want to your PSN wallet. Then you can proceed to the PS3 store and then uh, purchase content that way. That's how I was able to do it. So if you're not the type of person who just wants to go out their own way to buy a PSN card, you can just add funds via... A different way um so that's how i was managed to do it now for um japanese titles especially for those that are rated zero z or rated 18 in the west um japan's very a little bit strict on that because you have to actually verify your age via japanese credit card now um when i tried buying dead nation Obviously, it, it gave me that sort of info, and I was not even able to do it. So, um, I was very lucky enough to actually uh, borrow it from someone. Um, so, the only really advice for that, really, when this all takes effect, this is after October 27th, when they're going to get rid of all those payment methods, is to, um, especially DLC. So, for those who have actually bought the content before October 27th, they're still able to download it. They're still able to um, purchase any DLC for it. And um, yeah, so after October 27th, when this all takes effect, you can add funds or buy a PSN voucher, adding funds to the wallet via PS4, 5, PC, mobile. When it comes to Japanese titles that are rated 0Z or rated 18, I think your best bet really, especially if you want to play those, I would just highly suggest asking around. Um, so when I try to buy a Dead Nation on PS4, uh, on the Japanese store, obviously, it, it said I needed to verify. I was not even able to do it, so I asked somebody. But I helped them out by giving them a small fee. Um, that is whether to buy them PSN credit just so you can actually borrow the game off their account that's how i was able to do it so i pretty much played the game got the platinum for it and then that was done deleted their account off my uh system and then they were very satisfied with it so um if you are looking to do that later down the line because i do have a few other japanese titles that uh i want to grab you know japanese versions of games like evil within uh, I think Biohazard, um, like the PS1 Classic Biohazard, I think I need to verify that as well. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anything like that, anything that's rated 0Z, you're going to have a very hard time trying to grab those. Because obviously, verifying by a card, that's all going to be gone. Like, there's no other option to um, actually buy those. So for those who do own the games... Well done to you. Um, hopefully, 
there's some light at the end of the tunnel where you're able to ask around um give them a bit of money you know just so that you can borrow the game off their account you know if they're very generous enough to do so and then do it that way so that is pretty much it so after october 27th this will all take effect um i was going to show you guys on how to actually add funds to the wallet via ps4 but you can go to settings account information or account management then account information wallet add funds whatever amount you want and then obviously you've added funds to uh, the playstation network and then you can use that to buy content whether you're on ps3 ps4 ps5 doesn't really matter so yeah um just wanted to throw that out for you guys in case for those who do not know uh yes playstation 3 and vita are still thin um so the store's still available to uh to launch and buy stuff over there i know that they were planning to shut that down back in july but obviously with the massive feedback from fans they decided not to but they did shut down psp um but yeah so just wanted to throw that out there for those who do not know as of yet but i did come across that little article last night and um i just thought i'd let you guys know you know to be on the safe side um so a lot of games especially in the japanese gaming market digital only are going to be taking effect for this and i don't know what they're going to do with that so um i guess we'll find out uh after october 27th but hopefully they have a workaround and uh hopefully people are buy to will be able to buy the 18 rated games on the japanese store without any sorts of issue whatsoever so that is it guys i hope you guys have been informed about this and we'll just see what happens in future when it comes to the ps3 and vita games um but i just hope that they stay open for as long as they can hopefully hopefully most of them are going to be transferred over to ps now which is a service that I've never particularly used. I don't think I ever will use it. But if they do tend to put it over to PS Now. Or they just pull it over to PS4, PS5. Then that will be good. But I guess we'll just see what happens. So that is it guys. I thought I'd just let you guys know about this. And um, yeah. I guess we'll see you from the next video. See ya.